Hi, my name is Carlos and welcome to this video on IMAP Think. If you are someone who is switching between email platforms or need to back up your email data, then IMAP Think is the tool for you. In this video, we will be exploring what IMAP Think is and how you can use one of its options to migrate your email account using a web version. IMAP Think is a tool used to synchronize email accounts from one mail server to another. It transfers email messages, attachment, and other mailbox content between two IMAP servers, allowing users to transfer data between different email platforms or back up their email data. IMAP Sync is an open source tool, meaning it is freely available to anyone who wants to use it. You can download and install the IMAP Sync on your computer and use it to synchronize email accounts. It can run on different operating systems, Linux, macOS, and Windows. Regardless of the operating system that you use, you will need to have IMAP access to both email accounts, as well as terminal or command line interface in order to run IMAP Sync. However, in this video, I will show you an alternative that allows you to use it without installing the tool. It is a web interface that is free if your email account is under 3 GB of data. If your account is over 3 GB, then you have the option to purchase the service and pay by usage, as you can see here. I will leave a link in the description. When using the IMAP Sync tool, you will need the following information. Login information or credentials, which is usually the email address and the password, and the IMAP server name. In some cases, you can also use the server IP address. Of course, you will need the information for both mailboxes the source mailbox and the destination or target. As you can imagine, both email accounts do not need to be the same. You can migrate between two different email accounts. For example, you can migrate from carlos1 at mydomain.com and carlos2 at myotherdomain.com. Of course, the most common option is when you are migrating your email service. You will be moving, for example, from carlos1 at mydomain.com on server 1 to carlos1 at mydomain.com on server 2. In general, most of the email servers can connect using IMAP protocol, which is needed to use the tool or service. Now, let's jump to our computer and I will show you how it works. The first thing that I want to show you is how to access or how to find the migration tool. I mean, IMAP sync. I'm going to open my browser. So we will Google IMAP Sync. In any case, I will leave the link in the description that will take you directly to the IMAP Sync tool on the web. The first result that we will get is the official site. And then we will be able to go directly to the tool, which is this second option that is here, Mailbox IMAP Sync Online. In this case, I will click to the official website. We will find general information about the tool. And here on the second link, we will be able to go directly to the IMAP Sync tool. This is the web interface that will allow us to migrate from one server to another. Here on the left, we have the IMAP Sort mailbox, and on the right, we will have the IMAP Destination mailbox. In the Source mailbox is where we will enter the information about the mailbox that we want to migrate from. So we will need to enter the login information, which in most of the cases is the email address. Then we will enter the password, and we will also enter the server information. It could be the server name or the IP address. On the right, we will have the same, but in this case will be the destination mailbox. I mean the email address where I want to migrate to. So we will enter the email address or login name, the password, and also the server name or the server IP address. It is important to know that this tool is free if my email account is below 3 GB, as we can see here. If the mailbox that we want to migrate is over 3 GB, then we will be able to pay by usage. If you click here on pricing, you will be able to see the pricing information. In my example, I'm going to migrate from one email account that is called carlos at itbe.cloud to another email address, which is called sales at itbe.xyz. 
here on this tab, I am accessing the mailbox or the email address that I want to migrate from. This email account has 143 messages. This webmail allowed me to check how much storage I'm using right now in this mailbox. I'm only using 17 megabytes of data. So I am okay to use the IMAP Sync tool because this mailbox is below the three gigabytes. As I said before, I'm going to migrate from carlos at itv.cloud. And now I'm going to open the mailbox where I'm going to migrate to. I have it here. The email address is sales at askitb.xyz. In this mailbox, I only have one message and it's using just 82 kilobytes. At the end of the process, I will find here 144 messages, 143 from the migration plus one message that is already here. So let's go now to the migration tool and we will enter the information. Within the IMAP source section, we will enter the email address, which is carlos at itb.cloud. We will enter our password and we will enter the IP address for the server. On the right, we will enter the destination mailbox, which is going to be sales at askitb.xyz. We will enter the password as well. And in this case, I will enter the server name, which is mail.askitb.xyz. We need to be aware that every password is specific to the mailbox. In this case, we are migrating from a different mailbox than the destination. This could be, for example, the procedure to make a backup for carlos at itb.cloud into a different mailbox, which is sales at askitb.xyz. The server information for both mailboxes, I mean the source and the destination, is information that should be provided by the mail server provider. I would like to remind you that when we are using this migration tool, we need both servers the source and the destination to support IMAP protocol, which is something supported by most of the email providers. Once I have entered the correct information, I am ready to start the migration. And I will need just to click here, sync or resync. By clicking here, the migration will start. The migration has a start. If I scroll down, I will be able to see the process and its progress. If I scroll a little bit more, I will see the logs of the connections between the two servers. It is now complete, 100% done. If I scroll down to the logs, I will be able to see all the information about the communication between the two servers. I can see here the information about the migration nine folders were migrated. I can also see here 143 messages in total. All the messages were migrated. Within the logs, I can see every single message that was migrated. At the end of the migration, we can see that the server one has still 17 megabytes and the server two also has about 17 megabytes as well. This line here reports migration successful and zero errors during the migration. We can access now the source mailbox. The emails remain in the mailbox. No emails are deleted during the migration. Now we can also access our destination mailbox and we can see here 144 messages. In this case, our migration has been successful and we have been able to use the IMAP Sync migration tool. There are all the email migration tools. Some of them are specific for the email service like a Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. By the way, here I will leave you a couple of videos that will show you how to use those tools as well. But if you are just migrating emails between all the email services, then IMAP Sync is an excellent alternative. Here are some of the benefits of using IMAP Sync. IMAP Sync allows you to transfer email messages, attachment, and all the mailbox content from one IMAP server to another making it easier to switch between different email platforms. You can use IMAP Sync to create a backup of your email data, which can be useful in case of data loss or corruption. 
IMAP Sync uses efficient algorithms to transfer only the necessary information, making the process faster and less resource intensive. In this case, you will need to use the command line option. IMAP Sync is a command line tool, making it flexible and easy to use in different scenarios, such as setting up email migration on servers or automating the process through scripts. IMAP Sync is an open source tool, which means it is free to use and available to anyone. Overall, IMAP Sync provides a simple and effective way to transfer and backup email data, making it a valuable tool for anyone who needs to manage their email accounts. Before finishing this video, I would like to mention one last consideration. When using web-based tools, it is crucial to review the terms of conditions before using the tool. The terms and conditions outline the right and responsibility of both the tool provider and the user. It is important to understand these terms so you can make informed decisions about how you use the tool and protect your privacy and security. I hope you find this video useful. If you do, please click the like button. If you have any question or comment, please leave it here down below. And if you want to see more videos like this one or want to find it easy again in the future, please hit the subscribe button. Thank you, and I hope to see you next time.